Hey, good morning, everybody. Got my coffee this morning. We use that as a reason to get out of the house for a few minutes and, you know, so we're not stuck in the house all day. Um, I was reading a verse this morning in Isaiah 64, 8. It says this, Yet you, Lord, are our Father. We are the clay and you are the potter. We all are the work of your hand. Romans 9, 21 says, Do not... Does not the potter have the right, or does not the potter have the right to make out of the same lump of clay some pottery for special purposes and some pottery for common use? And when I was looking at that, and you know, we we often use the idea of allowing ourselves to be shaped and molded um, by God's hand. Um, and we think even a lot of the situation, you know, we may feel like we're in a situation where we feel like we've been put on a shelf. And, you know, we look at what he said in Isaiah, where it says that we are the clay in the hands of the Father. And I think sometimes we might feel like right now we've been kind of like a hot piece of pottery put on a shelf, wishing we could be used in a way that we feel we ought to be used. Or maybe we feel like our use is in bygone years, or we feel like we've never been up to our full potential and you know, I say this to say, I think at times we all wrestle with, you know, seeing these, you know, the success of other people or, you know, seeing how others seemingly are being used in a way that maybe we wish we were used. And I think we sometimes forget that God has designed us for specific reasons and in specific ways to be used as he needs us to be. And that's actually a pretty powerful thing that he would design you and he would design me for his purposes as he sees fit because he sees the value in using us. You know, when I was young, you look and see that it says my name and I design this. I remember I designed it in the third grade. We lived in Ohio. And I remember after designing it, I was honestly pretty embarrassed by it. Um, really, I thought it was a piece of junk even then. And I was, I didn't know what they were going to do with it. All I know that when I was done, they took it, they baked it, and they put some glitter on it. They tried their best to make it a little better. And so I got it back and I took it home and I gave it to my dad and I just, my mom, and I just thought, you know, I'll probably never really want to see that thing again. And then years later, um, my dad was in his, um, uh, I was in his room and I looked over and there on his dresser was this bowl and he just had some different things in there and I remember thinking in my mind like man dad why did you keep this bowl I mean the thing's ugly I mean there's really it really doesn't have any use you know I was convinced I'm sure if you put water in it, it would leak out everywhere and I just I was embarrassed by it but yet my dad saw value in it not only because maybe he saw the use in it but because he also looked at the one who had made it and in this case he valued the person that had made the bowl and in our case God values what he has made and he valued what I made my dad valued what I made and you know I think sometimes we look at Isaiah and we look at those different passages you know where we we understand the idea of being clay in the potter's hands but do we consider the value that God sees in us Maybe in this season, because we're in quarantine or shelter in place, because we feel like we're not being used in a way that we think we ought to, or maybe even in regular circumstances, we feel like we're being used in ways we shouldn't. But yet, maybe God is using us in the exact way He has created us to be used, as He sees fit for His purposes and His needs, and we're far better for that, because we're in the place where God has us for a reason. And I think sometimes... What he's doing, we don't see the whole picture, but yet he's doing something significant that we may not fully ever understand. You know, in a culture where fame and fortune are seen as the the measures of success, we find that often it's the unseen things that are probably really determining real success and real impact. And so I just want to encourage you that, you know, in this time, you know, just kind of in the midst of all this, that maybe... God is using you in this season, and He's created you as He has because He sees the value in who you are as you are to use you as He sees fit. And so, you guys, hope that's encouraging to you today. I hope you have a great day today. Um, we are working on stuff, trying to figure out where to fit this bowl. Um, maybe I'll turn it into a cereal bowl. But either way, I hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.